guys, this is Megan with the blog WilsonHumpstead.com and this is Vivian and I wanted to share with you guys some of the things that I use the most this last postpartum time. This is my third baby and so I've done this a few times now and I have things that I just, you know, are my go-to postpartum things, things that make it faster to heal, things for comfort. So I just wanted to give you guys my list of the things I use most with postpartum with baby number three. So hopefully this is helpful for any of you new mamas that are trying to decide what things you need to get before your baby's born. This is just my basic list. Obviously there's a lot more things that could be helpful, but these are kind of my go-to things. So let's get right into this video. So the first thing is this robe. This is a mustard yellow color muslin robe. It is so soft and comfortable. This was pretty expensive. I splurged a little bit and got this robe this time because with the last two babies, I have um, confiscated my husband's long flannel like dress shirts. I mean, I guess they're not really dress shirts. They're just like flannel long sleeve button up shirts that he wears to church or out. I stole like all of them and I'd wear them at night because I'd want something that was long sleeve and like really big and baggy and warm, but that could open in the front for easy breastfeeding because I always co-sleep with my babies. They just sleep right in bed with me and I just nurse them all night. So I needed something that could easily open, but that would keep my arms warm because <laughs> you can't really pull the blanket all the way up to your chin anymore because you got a baby at your chest. So you have to leave the blanket at your waist and then you can have like a nice big comfy robe to keep yourself warm on your top half. <laughs> so this was like literally a lifesaver. I really wish I had just invested in this with the first baby because it was literally so nice. And my husband appreciated it because his flannel shirts weren't constantly soaked in breast milk and dirty. So I think it was a win for everyone. And I just wanted to say, I will link everything down below. So if you guys wanted to look into getting a robe like this for yourselves. The link will be in the description box. So you don't have to worry about trying to figure out where this is from. So the next two things on my list, I have a list here, postpartum restorative tonic and cloud nine tincture. Those two things are both from a company called Milk Moon Herbs. Such a good company. I love them to death. They also have really delicious botanical ghee that I'm a huge fan of, but they're always out of stock because everyone just buys it up so fast. But I took their Cloud9 tincture. It's a tincture to help with baby blues and mood support and helping to regulate all those crazy hormones after you have a baby. So after my first baby was born, I had terrible baby blues. So after that experience, I'm always very careful to have something like this on hand to help with baby blues because it's just, it's just terrible. So I will like, I'll spend a lot of money on tinctures and all sorts of things to help with mood support postpartum. So the Cloud9 tincture is specifically made for that. And the postpartum restorative tonic just help rebuilds like nutrients and minerals and all these things that you lose when you have a baby and you bleed a lot postpartum and all, all those different things. So that is just really helpful for healing and kind of getting back some of your reserves. The next thing that I always take, I've taken with the all three, so it's not just specific to this one, is I take my placenta after the baby's born. So what I do is I will steam it for 15 minutes to kill the bacteria, and then I will chop it up in tiny little pieces and lay them out on a cookie sheet and freeze them. And then I'll take those frozen like pills and take them as pills, <laughs> like little capsules. So. It's really nice and easy that way when you're like freshly postpartum, you don't want to like try to figure out how to dehydrate them and put them in capsules. I'm like, I'm a little too lazy for that. So I just freeze them in chunks and take them as capsules like that. And that's always worked so well. And I take like a handful a day. I actually have started Actually, by, by the time I had my third, <laughs> I just, I don't even worry about like the amount every day. I just take what my body's asking for. So some days I would, my body would just be like craving like 
whole bunch and I would take like several handfuls throughout the day like little little handfuls and some days my body wouldn't ask for any I wouldn't take any it was kind of like if I was starting to feel a little bit like hormonal and moody those that placenta is full of those hormones and all the things that you're like low in postpartum so it can just really help with mood support as well so that's always and it's like free it comes with the baby so you might as well <laughs> take advantage of it I also took Ningxia this is something I took throughout like half I think I found out about this stuff halfway through her pregnancy so I started taking this and this just gives you such a good energy boost it's got so many awesome things Ningxia red combines the extraordinary wolfberry superfruit with 100% pure essential oils in a powerful whole body nutrient infusion so this has so many great benefits. If you don't know what this is, I have some posts on Instagram and a reel on Instagram sharing like some of the benefits of this and what it is exactly. So head over to my Instagram and find those if you're like curious about this. Here's another absolute, absolute essential. Maybe not for your first baby, but for sure second and third and any past that is this after ease tincture. <coughs> Because after your first baby, and with each one, it gets worse, and that is true, it gets worse. Those after pains, those contractions you keep getting after the baby's born, that they keep contracting your uterus to get the bleeding to stop and the wound to close up. It's all beneficial and good and normal, but it's very painful. It can actually feel like you're in labor all over again. And that tincture, whenever you're feeling the cramping start and the contractions start, you take, I'll take like three dropperfuls in a little bit of water and it helps so much. It's like crazy how much a little tincture can help. So I actually bought four of those to have on hand this postpartum because with my second, I only bought one and I used it up in like the first few days and then I was just kind of out of luck after that. So I bought four and I didn't even use them all. I'll just gift them to a friend who's gonna have a baby soon. So I'll find someone who can use them and they don't go bad like anytime soon. So it was still, it's still worth it to have plenty on hand even if you end up not using all of them. Here is another thing I've been using a lot, this postpartum. It's from Mama Life Apothecary. It's called Yoni Love. It's a healing salve. So postpartum obviously is like the best time to use a healing salve for you know, that area that a baby just came barreling through. <laughs> so I, my midwife has said, she's just like shocked, like at my six week, she'll do like a two week and a six week checkup. And she's always like shocked, like I looked so healed. It looked like so much back to normal and she was just completely shocked. And I do a lot of things like herbal, I'll talk about this later, I do like herbal padsicles and different things, but I feel like that Yoni salve really helps too. Here's another salve, it's our Earth Mama Organics Organic Nipple Butter. So obviously a good thing to have postpartum if you are a breastfeeding mama. I, my babies always latch pretty well, even though Vivian had a little bit of a tongue tie, she still latched well enough that I never, I've never had an issue with like cracked or bleeding nipples like a lot of mamas have, but it's still, they still get really sore because they're like not used to being <laughs> nursed on when they haven't been for a while so they get really sore so that's just really helpful and you can use it as a little lotion for baby so she has some cradle caps so I put, I'll put some on her head and it seems like it's helping it. I also have been taking CBD oil this is something I took throughout part of her pregnancy and then also postpartum just really great for <coughs> adrenal support and mood and just feeling more calm like if you struggle with postpartum anxiety C CBD oil can really help with that. The next thing is an adrenal cocktail so it is one cup of orange juice two tablespoons of raw cream I would just, we get raw milk so I'll just scoop two tablespoons of cream off the top two tablespoons of collagen powder and I get my collagen powder from Perfect Supplements and sea salt. So I use the pink Himalayan salt that we get from Azure Standard and you mix it, you put it in a jar and I'll shake it up in a pint mason jar and drink it and it's like an amazing energy boost. It helps your adrenals. It's, hi, you're so sweet. It's such a good boost and 
a lot of times I'll add the Ning Shit to that and just drink it all at once. It's just like, so great. I don't know, when you're postpartum, you don't have a lot of energy, you're always up all night nursing, and you can drink this, and it just like, helps you feel more normal, I feel like. It's just, it's been really nice. And then I did mention this a little bit already, but I used padsicles this time. So I made an herbal tea with a bunch of different herbs that are great for healing postpartum, and I let it infuse like overnight. Like, it was probably, it was over 12 hours that I let it steep and you know, get, get all those great herbal benefits into the tea. And then I used my peri bottle and squirted it on disposable pads and then I froze them. So then postpartum, when it was feeling just real sore down there and I needed to wear a pad anyway, I could just put one on and it would like relieve the inflammation because it's been in the freezer. All those benefits from the herbs will help heal. Normally I make my own herbal mix, but this time a sweet friend sent me a kit. It's postpartum soothe. I, I can link that for you guys as well. And I have a coupon code for that also. So I'll put that in the description box. Here are two supplements that are pretty important postpartum for me. One is a magnesium capsule. This is magnesium glyc glycinate. And then this is a magnesium lotion. So oral and topical, get it from two different angles. And this magnesium glycinate is a lot easier to digest than uh, the magnesium, I think it's called citrate, is what is like, you normally think of magnesium supplements as like that calm magnesium drink, which I actually do not recommend anymore. I used to until I found out the company got bought by Clorox. <laughs> and then also just the, mag the form of magnesium that that is isn't easy, as easy for your body to digest. So I switched to the Pure Encapsulations Magnesium Glycinate and I've been feeling so much better. And then just also the topical. So I have like leg cramps and I had a lot of problems with my hips this postpartum. So I'll put some right on my hips and it helps those specific muscles relax a little bit more. Plus it's absorbing into your bloodstream and increasing your magnesium, which is just like so important for everything. Magnesium like is such an important supplement. And then while we're on supplements, I took a Colostrum supplement. It's also the Pure Encapsulations brand and a BioCult probiotic. So these are both for immune support. The baby gets these through my breast milk. So for a brand new baby, I, was, I made sure to take a little extra of these two things just to make sure she stayed nice and healthy with the new people wanting to visit and hold her and bring meals and all that stuff. So these are just really great for immune support, boosting her gut bacteria, boosting my healthy gut bacteria. And then I also have the Pure Encapsulations. Obviously, I love this brand. This is just the prenatal, so I take two of these capsules. I take some of these through my pregnancy and then also I keep taking them while I'm breastfeeding. Um, and then also I try to make sure I get a lot of beef liver in my diet. So at least a couple times a week I will We'll have some beef liver in soup, or I'll fry up like a, a rabbit, a few rabbit livers or chicken livers, because um, that's also like, it's nature's multivitamin. So just make sure I have plenty of vitamin stores and reserves so that as she's breastfeeding, your body will pull whatever reserves it needs. Like it'll pull calcium out of your teeth, out of your bones. So you wanna make sure you're getting enough vitamins and nutrients that it's just getting, she's getting it through my breast milk from my diet and not pulling it from my own reserves. So to keep both of us nice and healthy. Here's another tincture that I've been taking. It's called Leafy Prana. This is a turmeric and ginger supplement. So it's great for inflammation and headaches and all kinds of stuff. So it can help with like all my hip pain. This postpartum, it's really helpful with that then and also when we get headaches i will take a combination of that and arnica and that i feel a lot more comfortable taking that than like taking a ibuprofen or something like that it's a lot healthier for me a lot healthier for vivian getting getting stuff through my breast milk now this isn't something i used a ton but i wanted to mention that this is the same brand as the after east tincture that i used this is Happy Ducts Lactation Support. So there was a, a couple times this postpartum that I had clogged ducts, like they would just feel really hard. 
and uncomfortable and um, so I would just take a couple dropperfuls of that to help clear them out. You can also just turn your baby so their chin is facing where the clog is and that helps release it also but you know it's just handy to have on hand it's also something that would be helpful for mastitis if I happen to get it and I haven't had that before thankfully but that would be something good to use for that. Also along the lines of breastfeeding is I have all these nursing pads so these you stick in your bra particularly at night and mostly for the first couple weeks when you're leaking a lot and your milk supply is regulating and there's just like way too much <laughs> so instead of like soaking your shirt and all your clothes and the bed and your baby you can put one of those on and a, like a, a nice tighter fitting bra to keep pressure on it <laughs> and that helps keep it from leaking until your milk regulates and now I'm at the point where I don't have to wear one of those I don't even have to wear a bra at night and that's always a nice stage to get to <laughs> and then also I have all these cloth pads so this time especially I tried to use a lot more cloth pads for my postpartum bleeding instead of disposable ones so I have several different brands I use the main one I can think of is glad rags um, so I will link all my cloth pads. I use, for the first week or two, I use like heavy overnight flow size pads for the like heavier postpartum bleeding. And then as it slows down, I'll switch to just like regular daytime period pads. And it's just nice that they're usable. I don't feel as bad about like having so much waste going into the, the garbage. <laughs> So I can just wash them. I just throw them in with all of our other laundry and they can get thrown in the dryer and they're just like so nice to have. So that is my list. And obviously there's more things I used postpartum, but those are like my main like favorites, favorite of the favorites <laughs> of all the, my items. So I hope this video is helpful and maybe gave you some ideas of some stuff to have on hand postpartum. And it's just nice to be on my third baby and kind of know what I'm doing a little bit more and just know what I need <laughs> and then also give you guys some ideas for stuff that's nice to have. I know. I know. She's a busy, busy girl. Good man. Look. Look. <gasps> Look, her hair looks a little red, which is crazy. Is it crazy? Hi, there you are. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Oh no, bye.